Hey guys, I hope you guys enjoyed episode 7 of Asia's Next Top Model. So basically, um, the girls come back home and we get Nadia Mil and we're kind of guessing that it might be a makeup challenge. Makeup. But it was really fortunate that uh, Sophia was teaching us how to do like um, a makeup style so I thought it was really selfless of her, like it's really nice of her to teach us because like this is a competition so I, I don't know, it kind of reminds me of trying, you know, like when she was teaching us the runway walk but it's really good to know that um, we were able to find good friends and form good friendships like in the whole model house and in the, in the midst of the crazy competition really It's like the next day is um, the lesson by Karen uh, we were taught different styles of uh, makeup, including the Zach Posen um, look, which we were supposed to create during the challenge. Okay, first of all, we had 15 minutes. Okay, so I was just like, <laughs> we were like running. Um, I was really freaking out because it's not really my area. But I know, cross my fingers and hope that my cheeks are not too pink. But it was. Okay, it's okay. But I mean, at the end of the day, I'm really glad that uh, Sophia won the challenge. I was really happy for her. All of us are kind of celebrating for her, so yeah. So for the photo shoot, the girls and I arrived at this beautiful park and we see Nadia there. We're just like, what's Nadia doing here? Because we normally only see her at Illuminations. So there's a little bit of pressure like instantly like that. But at the same time, we found out it's um, because we were doing the shoot for WWF. And I know I think it's really nice that all the models are coming together and doing something for a good cause, you know. Um, if in the future, hopefully, if I become like a celebrity or anything, I would definitely want to use like my powers for good, like the way Nadia is doing. So she kind of inspires me to share whatever influences I have on the younger girls. So yes. Yeah. Uh, besides that, like the photographer Kevin. I was really glad because he was saying like I was the only model who went to the side of the tree and was like posing on the grass. So that's really good to know that what I lack in height, I bring it to stock. So. so for elimination, um, it was my elimination and I don't know, I know it's supposed to be sad and everything but for me, I just feel that there's so many things to be grateful about, you know. Uh, being on Asia's Next Top Model, I got to meet such amazing people. I got to have um, constructive criticism from the judges, from the industry experts, kind of help me improve. And I think I just feel I've learned so much, you know. Uh, like, okay, at the beginning of this competition, I was like the least experienced or like no experience. Um, throughout this whole competition, I was the underdog. And like at the end of it, I turned out to be best student. So I don't know, it just makes me feel really good inside. As a whole, thank you guys so much for supporting me. Thank you for appreciating my personality. Thank you for believing in me since the beginning. It is because of you guys, you know, all your love and your support that I was able to make it to top seven of the Internet Top Uh I feel that if I could change like one person, one person's perception of beauty, um, then I feel like, you know, mission accomplished, well done, you know. I hope to have made my family, my friends, and of course my amazing fans proud. I'll see you guys very soon, okay? I love you guys. Bye!